What it do, Internet? David Baugh here, and today we're going to be talking about Color Finale inside Final Cut Pro. Let's get into it. Now, Color Finale is one of my favorite Final Cut Pro plugins. Uh, it really allows you to take control of the color that's happening in your image and to change a whole lot of things that you might not otherwise have been able to uh, to change. So I figured uh, we're going to go in here, we're going to choose Color Finale. Uh, it's going to show up in your side menu. Uh, we'll open Color Finale Pro. Uh, get that going. Uh, that's going to add it on to whatever you're looking at. So we got this screenshot here. Let's just click this. Uh, we'll add Color Finale to that. It opens up uh, in your effects browser over here and then uh, you can open the controls for it. Now, there are a bunch of different uh, controls here in the application. Uh, this tool right here is going to be your color wheels. Uh, that allows you to change like your uh, lift gamma and gain, gain being your highlights, gamma being the midtones, and uh, then your last one is your lift. Uh, so you can see if I change this, make my dark tones a little bit bluer, um, and I can also use Command 7, let's open up our scopes here, so that you can see a little bit more how this is actually affecting the image, you can see it's now skewing a little bit more towards blue, um, things like that, uh, kind of cool, um, let's open back this up. Uh, you can reset all of that to get it back to where it was. You can also change your mid-tones. Let's go green. To see how that can affect your image there. Um, gain, uh, gain as well. Be the highlights, that'll be like the white tone in my skin here. Get these going. Super fun. You also have saturation on the side here, so I can up that, or I can make it black and white. Uh, and I could reset the same way. Uh, this is going to do curves, which is kind of dope. There hasn't really been curves in Final Cut Pro up till now. Um, and curves can be kind of touchy. So you would, um, you know, option click, you can add a control point. Let's add a control point there. I can do like a slight S curve. Uh, will get me a nice hue and saturation. I can bring down you know, those, make it a little easier on myself, you know, I could reset each one individually or separate, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I can also change the opacity of this layer, so I can say, um, let's add a really dramatic curves adjustment here, let's bring this up, let's get that going right. I can change the opacity which blends in the original image to something closer to that. So all the way to zero, I have that. Uh, all the way to 100, I have that dramatic. All the way to 100, I have that dramatic change there. Uh, let's leave this at 100, let's change that back. Uh, next to it, so this would be your LUT utility. You can change these, you can do whatever you want it to be. Uh, S-Log to set Rec 709 is it's pretty common for Black Magic. S-Log is, you know, fairly common as well. Uh, you can also individually take off these. So if I went in here and I had this all the way there, I can just take that off. Take off this adjustment and this adjustment and this adjustment. I can add in these two. Uh, so you can make iterations of the content that you're trying to make. Uh, that could be pretty helpful. Um, after that, you've got your vectors. This one's probably the one that I really like the most out of this software. Bam. Uh, next up, we have the vectors, and this is going to allow us to actually pick out individual color groups uh, and change those. So we might say, We might say that we want to change our the luminosity of our yellows. You can bring them up or down. You can see 
A lot of the yellow is going to be in the uh, lights in the back there. Uh, that can be changed, um, which is pretty sweet. Maybe the pinks is going to change a little bit of my skin tone. Uh, red is going to do similar. Let's see how that sort of dramatically changes it. As with all of these, I can also turn on and off that whole layer. Um, or if I just want to dial it back a little bit and I like the overall look, I can just bring it back there. Um, pretty powerful tool. It's great if you have, like say these yellows here, I want to change the hue of the yellows. Make them all red, make it all green. Change the saturation, you know, of the individual color channel instead of a whole image. Kind of nice. Gives you a lot of different variability there. Uh, this is the hue versus hue. So this would be, uh, you can change it. I almost never use this, but uh, it can be kind of cool. You can option click. This. Almost never use this. But you can move where the bar is. We kind of nice. Still keep it going. Um, you can also copy all of this, uh, paste it into somewhere else, which is kind of nice. You can go into your settings here. Um, this will change a lot of different stuff as well. Uh, it's super, super useful program. Final Cut has got a lot of really useful color management stuff in there uh, built in, but this really takes all of that to the next level. I really like being able to change my vectors uh, and get all of that stuff in. I really like being able to have that sort of control over what I'm doing. Obviously, it's not for everybody. I think it retails for about hundred or two hundred dollars I think I paid for it yeah so they've got it uh, you can get the free download uh, that will get you uh, a few of the things I don't think it's, it's full featured uh, I went ahead and bought it uh, color finale 2 here is $99 uh, you can buy the pro version for 149 or you can just buy the upgrade if you needed um, Definitely worth it. Definitely worth uh, picking it up. It's one of those programs that is going to raise the ab the ability to really hone in your colors. Um, it works phenomenally. I've done feature films with it. I've done short films with it. Um, it's just super useful. It's super easy to get exactly what you want out of it. Uh, and you can sort of dial it all in. But... As you can hear, I have a screaming baby, so I do have to get going, but that's all I had for you guys today. It was a pleasure as always, and you have a wonderful evening.